Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Uh, gonna bring you a, a tasty riff today with a couple other little boop, boop, boop. Uh, Also, I come from GuitarJams.com, and I've got uh, some lessons that are not on YouTube that will help you progress, as well as a chord and scale book. You can actually uh, put your info down in that link down there, and I'll send you some really cool stuff like that. I really appreciate it. But... Let's do a nice free lesson right now. We're going to zoom in, show you some cool stuff, and uh, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, so here we go. We've got the eighth fret right there, which is a C note. If I play a bar chord right here, that shape right there looks like an E chord. And the root's right there on the E string, E shape, eighth fret, full bar chord. One, two, three. And the thing to think about is if I keep the pressure down, it rings out, right? But that's not the riff we're going for. We're going for a term that could be called staccato. Uh, you know, it cuts off. So you do that by just relaxing your chord hand. So we don't want, we want, just like that. Uh, the next thing is the bass is actually playing uh, so it's kind of like a uh, you know it's an E flat to a D to a C and that bass line underneath really helps thicken up this little which is kind of like a funk thing and that was a cool thing about the band In Excess is that they uh, you know, it's like a late 80s band, but uh, but they used elements of, of funk and dance music and rock. And I, I just, I really liked that band a lot. <clears throat> so here's our next little move. We're going to take our index finger and bar that 8th fret. And I think what we really want, we don't really want the G string in there. It can be. <laughs> I am barring it, but I'm kind of, when I'm aiming for my strum, I'm kind of aiming for the B and the high E only, and my index finger covering the G is kind of muting it a little bit. It's just, it's okay if it gets in there, but it's not really, we don't really want that too strongly in there. And we need to get uh, some loosey goosiness here. And for whatever reason, this is just my personal personal playing, is when, when I'm doing more chicka 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 kind of stuff, I tend to actually double up with my fingers, and I kind of get this loose, kind of like paintbrush kind of vibe. But typically, it's only when I'm going into the fast drummy stuff, whereas when I'm playing single notes, I'm holding it like that, or I'm picking, I'm holding it like that. But when it gets to heavy strumming, for whatever reason, I never analyzed it until I started making these videos. I hold it like that. So we've got. And so we're starting with, we're holding this little cluster here, and we've got the 11th fret on the high E with the pinky. Then ring finger, half step lower to the 10th fret. And then these two. Like I said, the G is kind of getting muted in there, but. C note, and then right next door is F. And there's this great palm muting, funky little pocket, little piece of guitar playing. 
if I don't palm you with my right hand. Now I literally can feel like the little vibrations under my palm right there. Just kind of tickly my palm there a little bit. So if I start with nothing and I bring my, you can see my wrist right here. I'm bringing it from here in like this as I pluck until I feel that bottom of my palm just getting the string vibrating underneath it. Just enough where we still hear the note. And that's a really good technique to work on. I'm gonna go practice it after I turn this video off. Um, five, five, seven, and eight. So five, seven, and eights. Five, five, seven, eight. Back. fun for you. Uh, it's always been one of my favorite riffs. Uh, I've got that link down there that you can check out. I appreciate the support and uh, we'll see you in another lesson real soon. See you later.